Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple screen with buttons and LEDs in the Visu Plus Express program. Right now I have a new project open with two basic screens and I have those two basic screens opened up. Our first step is going to be to add buttons and lights to the first screen. The way we're going to do that is via our toolbox on the right hand side. Right now I have my toolbox pinned to the right hand side but if you don't you can come up to the top bar to view and then the drop down arrow and you can choose toolbox about halfway down. That will open up your toolbox. We'll minimize this to make it cleaner. And there's going to be a lot of options for buttons. We have round buttons which we can expand. You see there's a bunch of different colors. We have square buttons which we can expand. Again many different colors. And rectangular buttons again many different colors. So we're going to add three. First we'll add a rectangular button. We can choose any color. We'll just choose blue for now. To get it onto the screen, you can either click, bring your cursor to where you'd like it, and then click and drag and make it as large or as small as you'd like. So there's our rectangular button. We'll come back to our toolbox, minimize the rectangular buttons, <clears throat> and let's add a square button. So instead of clicking and moving my cursor to the middle of the screen, this time we're going to choose a black button and simply click and drag it right on. So those are the two different ways that you can add something to your screen. Lastly, we'll come in and we'll minimize that and come up to a round button and we'll click and drag and add a red round button to our screen. Now that we have three buttons on our screen, we're going to put three lights and LEDs to correspond with the buttons that we can make them work together. So back up to our toolbox, we'll minimize the round buttons and right above that you see lights and LEDs. We'll expand that and you can see there's different colors in both lights and LEDs. First for our blue button we'll drag in a blue LED. Back up to our toolbox for our black button we'll drag in a green light. And for our red button we'll drag in a red LED. So now we have three buttons and three lights on our screen. With all of these, no matter if it's a button or a light, we have the ability to click on them and drag them around anywhere we want. And we can also click on them, grab one of these boxes, and we can resize and reproportion any of them to our liking. So if we want to come in here and line them up a little bit better, maybe make them a little bit smaller or bigger, we can come in here and just play on it right on the screen without making any changes in the properties. If we wanted to, however, get very exact, we can double click on any of these. We'll say we'll click on the red LED and it brings up our properties. In here, if we come to position, there's position X and Y, which if we wanted to get very precise with where we put our buttons and LEDs on the screen, we could change. And again, there's a height and width if we wanted to get very precise with that also. We also are able to add an object title, which I'm going to actually come to the blue button so it's a little bit easier to see. We double click and you can see here object title. We're going to come in here and we'll just call that button one. Once we have the title in here, if we want, we can come down to fonts and at the bottom title font. If we double click on that, it's going to bring up our font box. We can come up here and change the actual font first. We'll come up and just make it a very simple Arial font. For the font style, we can make it pop a little bit more and make it a bold font. And we can make it just a little bit bigger and bump it up to size 11 from the default size 8. We hit OK. We have now changed both our object title to button 1 and our title font to a bold Arial 11. Anytime any changes are made within properties, you have to come up to the very top left here where you see a green check mark and we click on that check mark to apply our changes. And now you see down in our blue button the button one object title has appeared in the button. So any changes whether it be a title or any kind of size, dimensions, position, that can all be made in properties. But for now we're going to leave these buttons go where they are and we're going to move on to making variables. We're going to create three variables and those three variables are going to create to, I'm sorry, connect our three sets of lights and buttons here. So to make variables we come over to our Project Explorer 
and about halfway down you see real time DB. We're going to right click on that and the first option is new variable with tag in parentheses. For our first button we're just going to put button 1 and then we hit OK and now you see real time DB expanded itself and it now has a variables category and we can see button 1 in our variables category. We're going to grab this variable and drag it over to both our first button and our first light. So the first set is taken care of. <clears throat> now we're going to come back to real time DB, right click again, new variable again, and we'll call this one button 2. We're going to hit OK, and now in the same category that you saw button 1, we now see button 2. Again, we'll click and drag that to both the button and to the light. We now have this set connected. And for the last one, once again, right click on real time DB, new variable. We'll go with button 3. Hit OK. And you now see button 3 with our variables. And we can drag and drop the last variable to the last button and last LED. We now have these three sets all matched up with their own variables. So if we come up here to the top into our start the project sim button, we're going to want to save our changes. So hit OK. And now that we're in here, we see that each separate button works each separate light. They're all working separate from each other. And we can turn the lights on and off with their corresponding buttons. So we're going to exit this screen up here at the top, go back to design mode, and now we're going to come into our second screen where we're going to create one button to work with three LEDs. So just as we added the sets in screen one, we're going to come to our toolbox. We'll choose a rectangular button this time, and we'll go with a red rectangular button. Click and drag that right in. We'll make this one a little bit bigger by clicking and dragging the box and reposition it right here in the middle by clicking and dragging. And now that we have our button, we're going to add our three lights with that one button. Come back up to Toolbox. Under Lights and LEDs, we can choose a green light. We can choose a yellow light. And we can choose a red light. Now once we have them in here, we, do, we can do exactly what we did with the button. Click and drag them to make them line up a little bit better and look a little bit cleaner. And now we have one button with three LEDs. On our first screen, we created three different variables to connect three different sets. On this screen, since we want one button to work all three LEDs, we're going to create one variable and connect it to all four objects. So just as we created variables in the last screen, we're going to come to real time DB, right click, new variable tag. We'll say all buttons for the variable name. We hit OK, and our variable is going to show up at the same spot as our screen one variables. But now we're going to drag and drop that all button variable onto the button and all three LEDs. So now we have that variable connecting all four of these objects. If we want to come up and start our project, save the changes we made, let that load for a second and hit OK. And now we see by turning on just the red button, we turn on all three LEDs. So that one click or that one push will turn on all three of those LED lights. <clears throat> so we can stop the project and go back to design mode here. And that is how to create a simple screen with buttons and LEDs.